and also uh, I'm going to build a storage room for the melons and pumpkins right here. And I'm thinking of changing this up to be stairs because it is a bit of a, a pain to keep going up and down. So I may change that to stairs. But we've worked on that enough now. I will show you that probably next episode when it's finished. I just want to kind of, I wanted to take you over the concept I had uh, with doing the cactus farm. But for now, I want to work on the other project today, and that is the bedroom, which is going to be right here. So we want a fairly decent sized bedroom. We don't need it to be massive. Here's the wall. We'll have to remember that. So we don't have a huge amount of room to work with, but we don't need a huge amount of room to work with, to be quite honest. It's just going to house my bed, and that's about it, really. I may add some niceties in here, but it's not too much of an issue. So how how wide is this? One, two, three, four, five, six. So maybe make it one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight in length. Six by eight room would be pretty good. Let's fill you in and put a torch here for the time being. And then we just need to carve this particular section out. We don't have much of a floor in here, do we? That's not going to matter. And I'm thinking for this room, obviously I'm going to need to incorporate a bed in here. That's the idea of the bedroom. Um, I want to get funky with the new carpet that's come out now in 1.6. And we're going to add that in here. Let's just carve the rest of this out. Don't know why there's all this odd cobble in here. I'm not sure really what's going on. But never mind. Just carve all this out and then just go up here. Oh, there's always gravel where you don't want it. There's always gravel. Oh, gravel. Yeah, I'm definitely going to make a diamond shovel for things like this. Let's just carve the remaining parts out. Yeah, I thought there'd be more gravel. There always is. There we are. Don't even have a shovel at all now to dig this stuff out with. I'll use the torch trick, I think, for the time being. There we go. So, kind of got the layout going here. I want to put the wooden beams that we've been going with in the corner. Not quite sure what happened there. And again in here, we want those beams. Whoops. Let's put you here. And in this corner, we'll have them as well. And why not? Let's put them in here. Unfortunately, I do have this problem. Well, maybe we could turn that into a window. That would be pretty cool. Yeah, let's turn that into a window. Let's just carve the rest of this out. Oops. Um. Hmm. Mm hmm. Hmm. Let's put you there. How does that look from the other side? Not too bad. Not too bad. It'll probably look better once I've kind of finished it a bit more. I'm I'm wondering what this is all about, though. In all honesty, uh, like I have this. This is meant to be right here. It's meant to be next to the door. I don't know. I'm kind of thinking that it should really go there. That looks a lot better than I thought it was going to do. Um, but we'll probably stick with the window here, I'm thinking. But it'll just mean that we fill this particular part back in. And I'll clean this up with smooth stone later. It doesn't matter too much for right now. Down here, I'm probably going to put some stone bricks. So we're definitely 
I'm going to want some doors to the bedroom. That's pretty obvious, and I can make some pressure plates for the doors. I've got 16 wood to play with. So let's grab two doors and two pressure plates. So two doors and two pressure plates. That's a perfect amount of wood for that. And let's try these things out. So door number one, door number two, there we are. Nice. I'm also going to need some pressure plates on the other side. Um, let's fill that in. So now I want my bed. I was going to make it a double bed, but it makes more sense now to make it a single bed. I want my bed to be right here. Um, let me see. And where's my wool stored at? Because I want to get funky with carpet, but I don't know um, as to what I've got in terms of stuff like that. So that's going to be enough. What color do I want to make my carpet red? Do I even have any roses? I don't think so. We could go get some. Uh, what time is it? Is it night time? Yeah, I think so. It's just about to become day, I think. Yeah, it's night time. So let's just quickly go and... Oh, no, it's raining. Oh, no, it's not. I need a decked out mobs, that's for sure. Look at him trying to path to me. Did I leave any in here? I may well have done. No. Yeah. So there's no red flowers around here, huh? That's skelly chillin'. What is it with all the decked out leather monsters all of a sudden? Projectile prop 2. Cool. Did he drop any enchanted gear? I don't think so. It's a darn shame. Some red roses over there. Look at all these decked out mobs, man. I, I, I know that there's regional difficulty here, that's for sure. Looks like the zombie despawned. Never mind. So let's run over here and grab these pretty red roses. Any more around? I see plenty of the yellow dandelion flowers. Where did those go? Oh, they're right here. Now, and you get two dye each from these, right? So that would give you eight colors of wool. And you put two together. So if I put those together like that, and then I do this, I get six red carpet, which is not enough. Probably going to need around maybe 32 at most. 32 I would be guaranteed I would have a few left. So why don't we go see if we can find some more red flowers. Ah, there's some. Didn't have to look too far here. I know that they're pretty common in the mountain biome. So that's you and you. I didn't really want the seeds. So we'll get rid of those. That will give me six. What does that give me? Fifteen? We'll go for thirty then. I need five more red flowers. Um, because I'm going to need ten wool. Yeah, you do the moon dance, pig. You do the moon dance. See, this is the thing I was talking about where rivers were running dry. I'm not sure whether that's just a, a side effect of the land here or whether... Something's gone weird in my world where I can't get rivers properly. Look, I wonder how long that creeper's been there. I've been way out of range. Way out of range, and he's still hanging around. Maybe it's because the chunks were left unloaded, I'm thinking, that he is... That was one... Whoa, I've never even seen this place. I've never even been here. Just another reason why I need a shovel. There's a lot of mobs around though. I 
Oh, you have punch. That is not fair. He has punch. Oh, wow. I'm... Oh, no. I'm going to have to try and take him on. Did I get anything off him? After all that, no. Yeah. All of this for some red flowers. I run into a chain skelly with a punch bow. Man, I'm going everywhere. Let me ditch some of this junk. Oh, there's some red flowers. <laughs> we got what we're looking for, but only four. I can't pick these up. Let's get rid of the bone. String, I'm not too bothered about. I have a ton of that. I end up picking up the stuff anyway. What did I drop? String? Let's ditch the string. I don't want that. The meat, I can get that fairly easily. And that'll do for the time being. We want these two flowers to make the eight red dye. So that I can now take 27 carpet. Uh, I think that that'll be enough carpet, actually. It should be, anyway. Um, so let's head back. Back towards the patch here. That is ours. Also, as I'm up here, I can show you the fact that I did actually take the melons and pumpkins out of here. They're all gone. Um, you bucking up, boy? <laughs> oh, I love my horse. Got plenty of HP. Strong, strong horse. So here we are, I'm back at home. Mm. So the bed is going to go right here. Actually, I'm not going to have enough carpet. Although, I want to run wood around the edge, so... We should have enough carpet. Although, I want wood, not wood there. But I do want that, so... We've got this. I've got ten spare carpet now. As far as what I want to do with the walls, I think I just want to make the smooth stone and maybe make... make that stone brick. Let's actually get the bed. Sure what's going on with those doors. Here's my bed. Finally gets a home. Over here. There we are, there's the bed. I may I may change what's under here actually. So it looks a bit nicer. You can't put carpet down and then the bed, can you? I may put red wool under there, actually. If I can get myself some more red flowers, I'll probably put some red wool down there. Um, I'm going to need some more wood. Why don't we make it pine? Pine and red wood go... Where, wed? <laughs> red wool and pine go well together, is what I was trying to say. Is there any pine left in here? No. But there is some in here. And let's get rid of some of this cobble that I'm carrying around. So much cobble that I don't actually need. Um, so let's... Let's dig this out and break this. And... Let's get a bunch of pine wood going. Let's put you here and here. And obviously, actually, maybe we could put pine wood underneath where the bed is. Ah. Yeah, that looks that looks good. And put all of this in here so it looks kinda nice. Goes well as well with the logs. Um as far as lighting goes in here I'm not really too sure on that, what I want to do. Um, I could put some glowstone under the carpet. That is an option, because carpet lets light pass through. So let's put some glowstone in, and then carpet, and then maybe some right there. I shouldn't see it, I don't think. If I put the carpet back, nope. Because I don't want to, I want to kind of get rid of torches. They look kind of 
look a bit tacky, so I want to keep that out of the way. Um, let's check the light levels in here, make sure that we're plenty high enough. The lowest I've seen is 9, which was is way over the limit. The limit is 7, so we're pretty good on that front. All I really need now is to kind of tidy up the walls a little bit and make some paintings. I'm going to put a painting up here. And we can actually do that now, can't we? Yeah, we can do that now. Let's make uh, a couple of paintings, throw those up on the wall. And then all I've got to do is make some smooth stone and replace the walls, which is kind of boring. So I'll leave that part out. I'll do that off camera as well as wrap up the cacti farm. So we've got a nice little painting that we can stick up above our bed in the bedroom. I might change this up to respond to all three pressure plates because I can very easily slip through the side without realizing so I may end up doing that. I may change this to stone brick I'm not sure. Um, what is on the other side? Nothing really so I may change this to stone brick. I want I want a nice paint and I want a nice big one. Can you get big ones? Can you get like a 3 by 2 Can you get that? I don't know what paintings there really are in the game anymore. Nope. In hindsight, I probably should have made more paintings. Hmm. Well, yeah, that'll do. I might be able to get a nice 2 by 2 on this wall. And I would like to get the karate one on that wall. That That's a nice painting. Um... Yeah, I would like to get a 2x2. Two two. Whoa! <laughs> I want that one. I don't want a skeleton above my bed. I don't want a skeleton. Give me something else. Uh, not that one. I don't even know what that is. Or maybe the creeper one would be nice to have over here. Can we get the creeper one? Ah, oh, that's pretty cool. I quite like that. That's, that's pretty cool. Um, the guy pointing at something. And I'll try and get the karate one on this wall. I, I like that one. Uh, so yeah, that's that's the bedroom. Um, all I need to do is really kind of smarten it up with uh, some stone brick. And then the bedroom is basically done. I've kind of finished in here. There's not a whole lot more to do really. So my bed is now catered for. Um, and I'm going to replace all this with stone brick. And I'm also going to work on finishing up the cactus farm. Because that's fairly easy to do and very tedious and not very interesting. I've just got to uh, rig up some repeaters in here and finish up the lighting. Ooh, we've got uh, cactus growing nicely. And probably next episode we shall work on getting the storage rooms for these two rooms built. And we will also start looking at the first animal farm. And then at that point, um, you will be able to progress forward. So I hope that you've enjoyed this particular episode, guys. And I hope to see you in the next one. So I hope you've enjoyed the different activities we've done today and patching up these couple of areas. And I hope to see you next time. So until then, see you later and have a good day.